So I was sitting in the grass when I happened to see a grasshopper and a cricket at the same time, and that got me wondering. These insects have a lot in common physically with their big hopping adapted back legs, but up close they look super different. Grasshoppers aren't a kind of cricket, are they? I was pretty sure they weren't, but once the question was in my head, obviously I had to look it up. If you're lucky enough to evolve the legs for it, hopping is a pretty good way of getting around, which means that hopping specialized legs have evolved a whole bunch of different times in the animal kingdom. For example, the kangaroo rat and the hopping mouse come from totally different branches of the rodent family tree, and they evolved this body plan independently of each other. So my first guess was that evolutionarily, crickets and grasshoppers had basically nothing to do with each other, that their shared ancestor lived close to the origin of all folding winged insects, and you'd have to travel all all this way along the family tree to get from one to the other. Or was I wildly off base? Are grasshoppers actually inside the cricket family tree, making them just a weird looking cricket? Turns out I was right and wrong. Grasshoppers are not crickets, but they are pretty closely related, members of the insect order Orthoptera together with katydids. And I was like, oh, obviously katydids basically are grasshoppers, right? So the family tree looks like this? Wrong again. Katydids, with their super grasshoppery faces, are actually closer to crickets? In the process of looking this up, I learned some other extremely cool cricket facts, which I decided I had to tell my roommate about, and then I remembered that I also have a 1950s pop music special interest, which yielded maybe the funniest pair of texts I've ever sent.